I guess Sheriff's Department with emergency management is working on to try to make things better for citizens, Josh. So, so we've started a special needs registry in Anderson County. And what that does is it allows for our 911 center to know what's going on in your household before they get there. Um, <clears throat> there's a form that you can fill out. You can fill out online at uh, emd.andersonsheriff.org forward slash snregistry. Or uh, we've been sending out uh, flyers as well through the uh, special medical needs board in Anderson County, as well as um, the United Way and uh, the Department of Education. Um, and so we're, we're trying to get this message out to as many people as possible because this is very important to us. And the reason it's important to us is because we want to be able to better serve our citizens um, who may have special needs or have something uh, that during an emergency you may need a little different care than someone else or, or we may need to take a different approach. And so when you fill out this registry, it gets sent to our 911 center. Um, it goes into our computer-aided dispatch system and anytime you call 911 or if there's a call for service at your residence, um, it, it will actually pop up a little note on there for the 911 dispatcher saying someone with special needs uh, has, is in this residence. Um, it gives us the information about the special needs. It also gives us any notes that you've written in here saying um, it, it may be don't come with lights and sirens on. It, it may be this. I have an autistic child uh, and they may not be able to understand or, or comprehend what you're saying so you may need to uh, say it in a different way. It's just very good information that's getting to our first responders and the only way we can get that information is if uh, we receive that in from the general public. So like, like I said, just uh, we really encourage you to go to emd.andersonsheriff.org forward slash snregistry. Um, or if you just go to emd.andersonsheriff.org, it's on the top of the screen. You can just click Special Needs Registry and sign up today. We now have relationships with uh, multiple different partners, and those relationships are helping us out by getting us training. And so our, our plan in the future going forward is actually to train our officers, uh, train EMS, and try to train our emergency services staff and push it out to the fire as well uh, to train on different types of special needs that, that we may be uh, coming into contact with um, and trying to help in, a, in an emergency situation just to train us on how to better serve that person, how to better serve our community.